Now to a question being asked, will the United States become another Italy? Currently, hospitals are reportedly on the brink of collapse while the entire country there on lockdown. That's the situation happening amid the COVID-19 outbreak. Today, our own Nicole Newman spoke to a Utah woman currently living there in Italy. She's joining us now in studio with more. Nicole. Well, Emily, Britt Wilson says this is unlike anything she could ever imagine. Not being able to leave her home when she wants to and having to show proof just to go to the grocery store. This is video shared with ABC4 of Italian police riding through a neighborhood in the town of Passiano de Poranone, telling residents to stay inside. Amid the COVID-19 outbreak, the entire country is on lockdown. The hospital nearest us is Portanone Hospital. Their emergency room is so full and their ICU is so full. Britt Wilson of Syracuse, Utah is currently living in Italy. My husband manages the golf course at Aviano at the Air Force Base, so we are civilians. She explains how rapidly the novel coronavirus has taken over the entire country. Three weeks ago, I hadn't even heard of this virus. And then last week I was being temperature checked for it and now I'm in lockdown. So it moves fast. Just a few weeks ago, Wilson was here in Utah to be with her ill father. My father has since passed and I can't go home for his funeral. I am expecting my first grandchild in July, but I, I'm not even going to risk. I was going to be there for the birth. Wilson says she can't even move freely outside her home. She has to show this, a declaration of movement if pulled over just to do something simple, like going to the grocery store. Just, I, I'm shocked at how a week has changed my life. Now Wilson has this warning for everyone in the Beehive State. I hope Utahns take it serious. Now, I do want to mention that Wilson is not sick with COVID-19 and says the lockdown is scheduled to last until April 3rd. In studio, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.